you can kind of see how the rain shadow effect occurs with these mountains it's it's a it's strange it, it's like the uh, the mountain and there's some off in the distance even further the mountains seem to meet the clouds now what what are the uh, minimum height that uh, mountains have to be to really start messing with them rain clouds I'm, I'm not sure but the mountains here in, in the Olympic mountains definitely are high enough to to uh, put a stop to well to put a slowdown to a lot of the rain clouds yes it still rains here the ground is wet it did rain but <clears throat> it's supposed to rain all day and it's it doesn't seem like it's it's gonna be doing that and I think a lot of the rain clouds that are caught in the lower the lower rain clouds are caught and we're only getting the higher rain clouds that can reach over here so it's a unique effect uh, the rain shadow and it, it extends from here in uh, Sec Secum and apparently even Port Angeles is is said to be receiving a rain shadow effect so the whole distance from from here Sequim to Port Angeles are definitely uh, experiencing a, a kind of rain shadow effect so I expect a lot of dry areas and and all that although you get a lot of runoff of water from the mountains that'll help give plants enough moisture um, but yeah it's it's a unique uh, feature uh, <laughs> there's mo mountain there's just mountains aren't everywhere and they can definitely affect how much rain you get it's supposed to be supposed to rival Los Angeles I guess I sit in the Walmart parking lot in awe of these Olympic mountains Here's another day, another rainy day, and it's not really raining. It rained a little last night. You could see some drops on my windshield, but like they say with this rain shadow, the mountains are supposed to stop it, and I think it might be. I mean, if you look, it, you can't even see the mountains. It's like the clouds reach the mountains, and then when they got to the top, the, the clouds simply tumbled down the mountain and then covered it all up. Except for this one on the left, that's they're only halfway down the mountain. I can imagine what it must look like to live in those mountains. Or I see some houses cleared out, um, but it's it's a unique effect. <clears throat> These mountains are, I think they're. I mean, the forecast says it's raining, okay? This area is supposed to be experiencing rain, but I think I'm watching the effect of the mountains blocking the rain. It's just a fascinating um, like feature of geography that could manipulate our uh, like yearly rainfall for, for this area. This area of, uh, well, I can't think. Where am I? Squim? Um, the Olympic Mountains. This is just <clears throat> this is just one side of the the rain shadow. Um, it's supposed to extend all the way to Port Angeles, and yeah, I'll see. I'll definitely see the mountains from Port Angeles. I just uh, um, it's just hard to imagine how Port Angeles receives this. As little rain as this area, but I have to see when I when I get there. <clears throat> okay, just taking a minute to get a, like a third day um, of the mountain from the Walmart parking lot, and it's completely covered in clouds. It rained all light last night and into this morning, and now it's just midday and cloudy so that's but what's been going on i don't know if if it's when the, the weather warms up that reduces the chance for rain at night that, that that rain loves to come in at night and there's there's a a measurable temperature change during the day and night which you know you could go for anything but 
it seems a little more pronounced here just maybe because it's more of a uh, arid slightly more arid type of area but yeah it's there's some major mountains back there big old mountains and I think they're messing with those clouds in some way the clouds look quite unique they're more billowy they seem to just billow down the other side of the mountain and probably reduce the, the rain there's really not a huge amount of moisture in the air either. I'm not struggling with uh, too much moisture on my windows or anything. Usually other spots in Washington I, I get pretty bad. I gotta wipe everything down. I didn't have to wipe anything down here because the sun is out which helps a lot for the, the in, inside the car moisture. Cause things were molding a little bit in spots in my car. I gotta keep things moving and dry and everything. But yeah, that's another shot there.